Making My Way by Dragonus Bahamut. Something warm and bright and familiar. I opened my eyes and was nearly blinded once again. Turn it off already, I groaned. Sorry. The light dimmed down so it was safe to look again. Lance? He nodded. You won, didn't you? He nodded again. Ah. Uh... The door burst open and my friends ran in. Asha, are you okay? I sat up carefully. Yeah, I answered. She gritted her teeth. How dare you lose, Asha? I knew you should have used Pikachu. Pikachu always wins. Pikachu doesn't always win, I said, a little put off at how angry she was. Well, now what are you going to do? You have to wait another year to compete again. And you won't win because I'm going to beat you. Mayo? I'm just mad that you lost, okay? I thought for sure that you would win. You were winning every match until this one. Why'd you have to choose yourself anyway? <clears throat> Lance interrupted. May I say something? Uh, sure, Mayo said. I think Ash made a very good decision when he pitted himself to battle against me. He did? Lance nodded. A very good decision. Something that no other trainer has done, I believe. But they can't, I said. True. But if they could, how many of them do you think actually would? Uh, not too many, I guess. Right. The truth is, even if trainers thought they could go out and battle, they wouldn't, because they know that they wouldn't stand a chance. You went out anyway. You mean I didn't stand a chance? You actually did quite an amazing job. I was very impressed. You had me very worried at the end when you used Blizzard. That was an unexpected turn of events. But I lost. True. But no one has ever weakened my Dragonite that badly. He smiled offhandedly. It wasn't close to fainting, but it was still weak. Oh. You stay here with your friends. I'll be back in a moment. I want to speak with my friends. He left the room with the rest of the Elite Four. I watched him leave, and what had just happened hit me with full force. I laid down again. I lost. Ash, Misty said. Lance was right. You really did a great job out there. She laughed gently. I didn't know you had it in you. Well, I guess somebody has to lose, right? Richie asked. Uh-huh. Pika? You didn't get hurt too bad, did you? I laughed. No, Pikachu. I'm fine now. Fine, said Persian. I'm betting your ego got squashed flat. I stared at the stadium lights above me, thinking about what Persian had just said. No, Persian. That happened a while ago. Huh? Maybe Nakira was right all along. Maybe I shouldn't have come back. At least not back to Indigo. How come every time I come here, something bad happens? I wonder what it'll be this time. Ash? Huh? I asked, sitting up. You looked like you were off in another world. Misty grinned. Oh, uh... <laughs> I wonder what those guys are talking about. Richie wondered out loud. They're probably talking about making Ash one of them. Brock laughed. What? Ash, you heard what Lance said. Brock replied. No one has ever gotten as far as you did. I'm guessing that you'll replace Agatha and Lorelei will be knocked off. What? Brock nodded again. They're the Elite Four, Ash, not the Elite Five. But I can't do that. They're, they're all friends. Ash, don't worry about it. It's not like defending the championship is a full-time job. After this, they all go back to wherever they spend the rest of the year. Besides, I'm sure Lorelei would be glad for a break. It'd give her more time for other things. When I saw the dreamy look on his face, I knew talking to him was a lost cause. Wow, that'd be really cool, Ash, Richie said excitedly. Yeah, Billy added. My partner will finally be one of the best. Misty gave her a strange look. Your partner? Uh, yeah, Team Pikachu, she grinned. Prepare for trouble and make it double, I added. Ah, <laughs> okay, I've heard enough, Misty said quickly. To protect the world from... The door clicked open, and the Elite Four entered the room. Hey, I was in the middle of my line! Billy exclaimed. Misty shushed her. Now I'm starting to understand how Team Rocket felt when we interrupted their motto. I laughed. Ash, Lance said. How would you feel about representing us as the Indigo League champion? I nearly fainted again. I did fall off the Reviver. Ash? You're not serious? I said weakly. I didn't even try to get up. He stood over me and looked down. Actually, I'm very serious. So, what do you say? I say that you can't be serious, I answered, sitting up. 
How could I represent the Indigo League if I didn't even beat all of you? Ash, how many Mews challenge us? Agatha asked. Take a wild guess. Um, one? Exactly. Wow, Ash was right for once, Misty whispered. I heard that, Misty. She just giggled. Girls. Ash, we would be honored if you would accept the title of League Champion, Lance said. I was sure my ears were playing tricks on me. <laughs> I laughed to clear my head. Did you just say, honored? Why, yes, we did. Asha, quit it, Mayo interrupted. Just say yes and spare us all from watching you babble on like this. Um, okay. Yes, yes, I will accept the title of Indigo League Champion. It's about time, Lorelai laughed quietly. I waited for them to say something else. They didn't. So, uh, now what? I asked. Now? Agatha asked. Now you go and celebrate. When you come back, we'll have something very special for you. We will? Bruno asked. Yes, we will, Agatha replied. Um, okay. Come on, you guys. Let's go party hardy. Everything's on me. Ash, you know you don't eat free anymore because the tournament's already over, Misty informed me. Oh, Bruno laughed. <laughs> don't worry about it. We'll let them know that you're the champion, and they'll let you eat as much as you like. All right! Now let's go eat! I'm starving! I never knew battling could make you so hungry! Well, I kind of guessed you would be hungry, Misty said. Yeah, Brock said. We know how much you ate just after battling with your Pokemon. If you actually went out there and battled for yourself, then you must be... My stomach finished his sentence. Let's go find an all-you-can-eat buffet and stuff ourselves till we burst! I was full. That was something that didn't happen often, and I was very happy about it. After a major pig out at one of the best restaurants, we headed back to the stadium so the Elite Four could give me something very special. It didn't take too long to find them. They were waiting for us in the lobby. Hey guys, I said. Hello, Ash, Lorelai nodded. Agatha's got your surprise, Lance informed me. Cool. I floated over to Agatha. She was sitting down with one hand behind her back. Ash, when you beat a gym leader, what do you get? She asked. Uh, a badge? Correct. That was an easy one. Now when you beat the Elite Four, what do you get? Uh, a badge? I guessed. Correct once again! She leaned over and whispered in my ear. Don't ever let anyone tell you you're stupid. I blushed. <clears throat> now, I'd like to present you with this badge as proof that you've earned our respect. Take it and wear it with pride. How can I wear a badge? I can't wear my jacket anymore. She held out her hand. Resting in it was a golden badge shaped as the official League Expo. Attached to it was a short golden chain. What are you waiting for? Agatha asked with a smile. Take it already. You've earned it. Uh, okay. I picked it up and held it by the chain with both paws. The Expo dangled from the small loop and flashed in the light. Is this real gold? I wondered. You can bet your bottom it is. Agatha grinned. Uh, I'd rather not. Well, come on, Ash, Bruno said. Put it on already. Oh. I glanced at the latch on the chain, worked it open, and then tried to put it on. It was easier if I cheated a little and used a little psychic ability. It fit perfectly. It didn't fall very low, and it didn't feel tight either. I think you look good in it, Agatha said. Thanks, I said, blushing more. I turned around so I could see my friend's reactions. You did it, Asha! Mayo exclaimed. You really did it! Yep. Mom began sobbing into a tissue. Mom? Don't worry about me, Ash, she said. I'm just so happy. Uh, okay. I knew you had it in you all along, Brock said. Thanks. Billy started crying too. I guess that it was for the same reason that Mom was. Richie gave me a thumbs up. Congratulations, Ash, he said. I returned it. Thanks, Richie. Misty was just kind of smiling at me. She wasn't saying anything or anything. We did it, said Pikachu. He rushed up and tackled me to the ground. I laughed and fought back. We really did. I played with my new badge as I lay in bed. Everyone else had fallen asleep a while ago, but I didn't even try. I did it. I really did it. My life's dream has been completed. So now what? Did I go for it too fast? Maybe I should have stopped to smell the roses. After all, it's the journey that counts more than the destination. I sighed. I was becoming way too philosophical. Was Nakira right all along? Maybe I shouldn't have been so stubborn, but if I hadn't kept insisting on doing things my way, I wouldn't have this badge right now. 
I held it up to the light. It shone a slightly silver color in the moonlight. It was all worth it, right? How many people become champions at the age of 10? And it's my dream, too. Fulfilling your dream makes everything worth it, right? That has to be true. It has to be. A dark spot appeared on my badge, and I heard a small tapping noise from behind me. I glanced at the window. Nikiro? I hissed. Yeah, it's me. Come out here. I sat up and turned all the way around. No way. What are you doing here? Come outside and I'll tell you. This sounds a lot like a trap, Nikki. Uh, this isn't a trap, and my name isn't Nikki. I sighed. Fine, but one false move and I'm coming back in. I didn't want to bother with the window, so I just teleported myself outside. This way. Nikiro floated to a nearby tree and sat down on a branch. I couldn't see how that could be a trap, so I followed him. So, what do you want, Nikki? Nikiro. Nikiro? He didn't say anything for a moment. He looked at my badge. You won, didn't you? Not really. No, that's not what I meant. He pointed at it. You got your badge. Yeah? But you didn't win the match. Uh-huh. So, how? Why? They know you're a Mew. Why did they... Not all humans are like my dad. Nikiro looked away again. A lot of them, us, whatever, really care about others, both human and Pokemon, I continued. Do you see? It doesn't seem possible. Nikiro, maybe... maybe it's time the Muse came back. What? Maybe if we give each other a chance, we'll be able to work things out. I know we won't be able to if we don't even try. You really are different, you know that? I stood up. That may be true, but somebody's got to take a chance and try to accomplish the impossible. Maybe. You're going to try to help me, right, Nikiro? Maybe. I blinked. That's better than a no. All right, Nikiro. I know we can do it. He sighed. Maybe. Tomorrow, maybe you can meet my... No! Why not? I thought you said... No, I didn't. I said maybe. As a matter of fact, I changed my mind. I'm saying no. But... It's not going to work, Ashura. It won't. Just give it up before you make a fool of yourself. He stood up too. I made him angry somehow. I'm not going to try to stop you anymore, Ashura. But I'm not going to help you either. Just do what you like and pay the consequences yourself. Nakir- It was too late. He'd already left. I'll show you, Nakiro. Somehow. I sighed and sat down again. Look at this. I'm a cat in a tree. The fire truck should be coming soon. Sarcasm wasn't helping. I held up my new badge again. I'm going to make sure that I really earned this, because I'm not sure that I did. I felt too guilty to fall asleep again. I got the feeling that it was going to be a long night.